Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, today, I am going to make what is quite possibly the best thing I've eaten in 10 years. And that's no exaggeration. This dish, which I cooked about a week ago, well, we're still talking about it now. And it's the most simplest dish going, but it's all about the ingredients. And the star of the show is that lovely andouille sausage that I made. I mean, they were absolutely superb. And quite honestly, one of the best sausages I've ever made. And I thought, what could we do it with, you know? And I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll do it with a, a pasta sauce and some nice pasta. So I decided to do a, a ribiata sauce, which is like a tomato sauce, but it's got some spice in. And I tell you, it was just amazing really really fit each other well it was just a beautiful beautiful dish so easy to cook it's just a cracker so i'm going to show you how to do it as you can see not a lot of ingredients what we've got here is just some of my mini andouilles you can use a big one no big deal i've got two cloves of garlic which i've sliced thinly i've got a medium onion, a diced small. For my pasta, I've got this lovely fusilli giganti. It just clings all the sauce in those lovely spirals. And of course, what gives it that kick is the chili. Arribiata basically translates to angry, so it's an angry sauce. And with that, we're gonna have a bit of crushed chili, a tiny bit of oregano, some fresh basil, it's got to be the finest tomatoes and then some Worcester sauce. Obviously a bit of salt and pepper and some sugar to bring the sweetness out of the tomatoes. But simple dish. I will lift the camera up onto the stove and we'll get on. You're going to love this. Okay, first up, just get a bit of oil in a nice pan. Then like every pasta sauce, start with your onions. How camp is that? My missus will go mad. She makes cakes with this, but I live on the edge. I don't care, man. I's a rebel, and I'll never ever be any good. So we just want to add a little bit of colour. I'll take the heat out of that just a few minutes we'll go down to military power so just a tiny bit of colour nice and soft I've turned the heat up we're just going to get our garlic in and we want to watch that but we do want to brown it but we don't want to burn it because that ain't cool man keep it moving about the gaff So you can actually make out a garlic in there going brown so one full can of decent tomatoes how beautiful does that look just incorporate it then I add half of the can of water just to let it down a little bit and then we just want to gently bring that up to a simmer. Before that, just a bit of tomato puree, I suppose, a tablespoon there. Let's get that in there. And we'll bring that up to a simmer. And then we'll start pimping it, adding our herbs, our spices. Beautiful colour. So fresh. Okay, so my sauce is getting a bit leery. It's Italy via Worcestershire, because that's where I'm from. So, a dash of Worcester sauce. Now, just start with a little pinch of chili flakes. Now, it does need to have a little bit of kick, but it doesn't need to blow your ball bags off. And a little pinch of just dried oregano 
Now it's one of those ones where you just want to taste and taste again. And then you can adjust it to your liking. I'm going to crank some pepper in. Now I'm going to put a bit of salt in but I'm not going to put too much in because I will be adding the water from the pasta which will be nice and salty as it should be and then I won't put my basil in until near the end so let's have a look at that have a look mm. so good how just simple ingredients can just taste amazing So I know that needs a bit more pepper and then just to bring out the sweetness of those tomatoes, just a sprinkling of sugar. So basically you simmer that for about 15 minutes once we get our andouille in and you're done. So you want to get your andouille in. You could just drink that. Mm. Obviously it's cooked, so we're just warming it through. And then we'll cook our pasta at the same time. I'm just gonna cut it slightly on the bias to give it more surface area. But that's my homemade andouille. Just look at it. So get that in, put these other few in, and when you think, you know, this will serve too easily, maybe three, you know, you don't need loads of it, it's a great meal. So we get that in, so we're only just warming it through. I'm going to get the heat under my saucepan ready for my pasta I'm just going to put a little little bit of basil in now always tear basil don't cut it with a knife and that my little furry friends is pretty much it we'll just let that simmer for as long as the pasta takes We'll give it a check, we'll give it a fettle, give it a pimp, get it down our necks. Oh yeah. Instantly that andouille hit that, that lovely smoke has just gone through the sauce. Ah, oh, good old Cajun food. I reckon I was a Cajun. Right, back shortly. Cup of tea. If there's one thing I can't stand is under seasoned water, under seasoned pasta. It helps with the flavour. Now there are actual specific ratios out there. People do not put enough salt in. I'm going to use that spoon there. But the best way to judge it is you want it as salty as the Atlantic. So you know try a bit and you want it to be nice and salty. Without that, your pasta will be bland. Here endeth the sermon. It's a third world problem, man. Plenty of water, in we go, lid back on. So it's back to our actual sauce. Now it's looking a little thicker, but we don't need to worry about that. We're gonna let it down with a bit of the pasta water, and there'll be salt in that as well, hence I didn't put too much in. I could just eat that all day long. It really, really is amazing.
So get a few more of the fresh herbs in. I might put a little bit of chilli in it. It's just not hot enough for me. We don't want it to be ridiculous. This ain't no dick measuring contest, you know, then a curry at the end of the day. But you do want that little bit of kick. So we get a few more flakes in there. Then once our pasta is cooked, we will drain it. We will add it to our sauce with a couple of ladlefuls of pasta water. So as you can see, sauce is nicely thickened. Just gonna take a couple of spoons of the pasta water, which will be nicely seasoned, just to bring it down. Wonderful, I'll drain the pasta and we'll get it on, baby. Not a bad looking plate of food, if I say so myself. But I tell you what, let's give it a mix up. The flavor is just absolutely gorgeous. Just so good. You've got that lovely, smoky, punchy, Andouille sausage, you've got that angry sauce, got the chilli going through it, fresh herbs, and then that lovely fusily giganti, which you, as you can see, just takes all that sauce and holds it in its folds. It's just a wonderful, wonderful dish. Look at that. Mm. Well, my friends, normally, I would wolf that down standing up, but it's so good I want to enjoy this, so I'm just going to save that while I just sum this video up. Mm. Let's load up ready. So, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, you know the drill by now. Click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also, do get on my social media, I put all kinds on there Facebook. Twitter, Instagram at the Scott Reed Project. And if you want to help the channel along, be it a dollar, be it a million dollars, please check out my Patreon page. But until next time, if you can get on Dewey, give this a go. If you can't get on Dewey, just use a good chili sausage or a garlic sausage. It will work. Trust me, you try this once and you will be hooked. Right. This is my last mouthful standing up, eating on the hoof. On the hoof? Is it hoof or hoof? Does it matter? Does it matter? Beautiful. Take care, my friends. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> and all my friends over the pond, you can get on, do we? Especially my friends down in Louisiana and the south. Give this a go. Let me know what you think. Right, jobs are good and I'm off for a brew. <laughs>